My name is Tim Robinson. I'm the Director of Distribution for the Vacaville Distribution Center. I have 20 years with the company. I started in 1989 at the Roseville Distribution Center as a warehouse supervisor. Vacaville is 850,000 square feet. The building actually sits on 126 acres. We're basically 20 acres under roof. We are currently operating at 48% capacity. So yes, we do have extra storage and we are looking for additional business. We currently carry dry grocery at the Vacaville facility, which includes pet food, soap, canned goods, cereals, paper towels that you see in our stores. In the 20 years of working in the distribution business, I've seen the different technologies such as we've gone from picking with labels to voice selection. We used to use paper, labels, and now we're using actually RF equipment, so we've gone almost paperless. We're back on the receiving dock. This is where we receive all of our inbound product. With the new Retallic system, we actually receive on an RF gun. This gun allows us to now receive product with no paper. Once he hits enter, the product becomes live and it's sellable. Using real-time cubing sizing and a point system to prioritize the letdowns and putaways so that they are put in the most efficient, effective manner in the building. After the order sector has completed selecting his cases, then they will take it up to the shipping dock and the loaders from there will load that product. Our loaders also are using an RF gun and they scan the label so that it ensures that everything that that store has ordered will be on that truck and will be delivered to that store. The real benefit of Retalix is that it is 100% accurate. It gives us the efficiencies that we're looking for. One of Bob Piccini's views is to be self-distributed and what Vacville has to offer is a large building with a lot of capacity and that has been a driving force and motivating the associates here at Vacaville. Hi, my name is Bob Cole. I'm the Director of Distribution for the Roseville Distribution Center. I've been with the company for 20 years. My first job uh, with the company was a selector in the freezer. Now here at the Roseville DC, we're about a 442,000 square foot facility on a 42 acre site. We have over 300 employees at this DC. We service produce, deli, fresh meat, um, supplies, candy, and uh, cigarettes. We service 52 Save Mart stores, 70 Luckies, and 28 Food Max. Annually, we ship out 29 million cases out of this facility. But if you extrapolate that for the receiving part, it really becomes 58 million cases we handle annually. We also travel 6.4 million miles annually, and if you break that down on a daily basis, which we service seven days a week here, it's going to New York City from Modesto, round trip, three and a half times a day. Voice selection is something we use here at the DC. Uh, it's exclusive to us right now it's in the Save Mart banner. It's basically like having a CD player attached to your hip with a set of headphones on and a microphone. Six twenty-four units of one. Two, four. Zero, five, seven, one. And what's happening is the computer's talking to the selector. What it's doing is telling them what aisle to go down to, what slot to go to, how many cases in that slot to pick, and when he's done picking that, he has to confirm it back to the system before it allows him to go to his next slot. And he does that throughout his whole order until he completes it, and when he completes it, it actually tells him what door to take it to for us to load. Triceps is our warehouse operations management tool that we use here at RDC. And what that enables us to do, it enables us to handle everything on a real-time basis. And real-time means it's tracking everything from the moment something gets received to the moment it goes out of the building. Everything that leaves here has a barcode, and we can't load anything on a truck unless we scan it. The system will not even allow us to close that load to everything that's supposedly on that invoice has been scanned and cleared. As a director of the facility here, one of the things we try to do is get everybody on the same page and go in the same direction. Now, we have a lot of people here, a lot of moving parts, and that's one of our hardest tasks is to get and accomplish that. My name is Kirk Castleton. I'm the director of Yosemite Wholesale, and I've been with the company for 32 years. My first job began in 77 as a utility clerk. Yosemite Wholesale distributes about 30 million units out of our facility and uh, we run with that about 4.2 million miles each year. 
When Yosemite Wholesale was in Modesto, we had a 50,000 square foot warehouse that housed dry grocery, a grocery deli, and frozen food. And at that particular time in our company's history, Bob Piccinini had a desire to become self-distributed. With the visionary man that he is, uh, brought this uh, Yosemite Wholesale as a distribution center. And in doing such, uh, he found this facility here in Merced, California. It was actually a, a, a carpet mill, uh, which is an interesting fact in Yosemite's history. What we have is meat, deli, produce, health and beauty care, and liquor. Annually, we run about uh, 30 million cases a year out of Yosemite Wholesale. The overall capacity at Yosemite Wholesale, we run about 10,000 SKUs here at YW. We have about 256 employees and consist of warehouse people, office staff, and drivers. Our health and beauty care department, which you see behind me, consists of a lot of flow racks. The rolling racks in our health and beauty care department are unique in that they are filled from one side of the rack and they roll to the, to the selection point. What that allows us to do is maintain our code uh, integrity by making sure that everything is being pulled out of that flow rack to the store and the store is guaranteed a fresh product. Our composting began several years ago when the company realized that the stores were throwing away an incredible amount of spoils from the produce department and other areas of the, of the store. And we bring that back, that compost, back to the store from the produce departments in every store. We bring it back and we recycle it. It actually ends up back as a product and it reduces our cost at the store level for garbage. What the cardboard does is it enables the stores to, to bale their cardboard, uh, return it to a centralized location, and then to generate revenue. Not only is recycling plastic and cardboard good financially for the company, it's also good for the state and good for the community. As the director of Yosemite Wholesale, I've always said that communication and working together as a team is of utmost importance to the success of our company. Yosemite Wholesale has been a standalone facility for several years, and now that we have Vacaville and Roseville as distribution centers and team players along with Yosemite Wholesale, we have found and will see continued success uh, in the distribution arena for Save Mart supermarkets.